Okay, so you are going to use your phone as a timer, but you're going to use the video. Here's how you do it. If you just open your standard phone, you're not in high definition mode, you're not in slow-mo, your phone will take video at 30 frames per second. That 30 is an important number, but keep that in mind. So take a video, email it to yourself. Here I did. I'm going to download it. And here it is. And what you want to do is show it in the folder. Where is it? There it is. Open it with QuickTime. If you don't have QuickTime, you can go to QuickTime, just search Google and download. There's a free version. You can open your videos with QuickTime. And the benefit of opening with QuickTime is you can actually do something called count frames. So here's the video. Very exciting, a mouse swinging back and forth. Now the nice thing is, using your left and right arrows, you can actually move the video frame by frame. Now that number we mentioned before, 30 frames per second, essentially what that's telling you is, if you click 30 times, then one second has passed. If you click 15 times, well you do 15 divided 30, half a second has passed. So if we wanted to determine, for example, how long it takes this mouse to swing from one side all the way to the other, it's very hard to do with a stopwatch. But what we can do is actually count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. That seems about it. Now it's coming back. So we were 19 frames. How much time is that? We'll do a little dimensional analysis in class soon, but essentially 19 divided 30, and you'll get almost two-thirds of a second. Another way to actually think about this is to come down in the lower left and click frame number. You see, you see it's starting at zero, and if we just move it forward to just the point where we thought it stopped, I think that was about here, look at that, 19 frames. Now you still have to divide by your frame rate, 19 divided 30, that gives you your time. So anything you want to video that's on a short time interval, this is a great way. Now in your iPhone and probably your Android, you can change your settings. You can change to a high definition video, which is then 60 frames per second. If you do that, you simply have to divide the frame number by 60. So just be aware of what mode you're in. Of course, you can also do slow-mo, although I would not recommend that for your first land.